I showed a clip the other day about the collectivism. You know, there's a logo, a corporate logo, in which person's sense of identity is entirely based on the social persona. So this is where the, the, the Black Lodge wants us to be. Where you have, or let's put it this way, any sense of self that you do have is basically a collectivized sense of self. That's the herd. They've already, you, you're already doing the work for them then. You know, and, and they don't need to do anything more except impose, you know, the chains of gold upon you if you're not able to really connect with what it is that makes you unique. We all know what it is that makes us the same as everybody else. Our names, our philosophies, even the work that we do. You say you're a taxi driver, well, 10,000 people can say that. You know, what makes you really real? If you stood up and said, well, I'm the man who cares about being, I'm the man who cares about meaning, how many will say that? As Nietzsche and Heidegger and these people have said. But the rest of us goes, well, you know, uh, you know, I paint the walls or, uh, you know, I, I drive a bus. There's an inauthenticity implicit in that collective herd, and a stepping out of that into your individuality, uh, knowing who your enemy is on the physical level, you know, and realizing what they're really about. They're not really about imprisoning you. Somebody talked about affluence earlier. That's right, they don't mind giving you all the affluence. That's not the problem. Their problem is control of your mind and the dumbing down of your individuality. That's where the prison lies. It's an internal sucking one. And the only way for you to handle that is to do what you need to do from your inner self, right? That's uh, absolutely know thyself. And a, a point will come where you will have to differentiate yourself from every other creature on the face of this earth. Maybe not the animals, because that we've spoken of in other lectures about asking the animals for their power, you know, to, to live. Let's not even go there. From the human point of view, it may come to the point where you have so transcended them, the mass, the herd, the dust man, that yes, you feel that you stand alone in the world. Now, do you know why so few people take this road? It's because that's very hard and painful to do. Right? The road to selfhood is very difficult. Karma is nothing more than ignorance. Dharma is knowledge. Dharma is awareness, right? Ignorance is what they're in. They're in a form of ignorance. Like I said, they've chosen a road, and ultimately, metaphysically speaking, that's a road of ignorance. By sharing the ignorance or being under, the, uh, under their dominion in any sense of the term, right, which is ultimately meaning that you, you believe everything they're saying and you don't think for yourself, then you are in a state of karma, as worse uh, than theirs or whatever. You can't measure it. It's, ignorance is ignorance, regardless if it's on a massive scale, right, or big brother or on your individual scale. You know, the time has come now, though, for the human race to wake up and grow up. And that come, there's a sovereignty and individuality involved in that. Let's go with it, let's enjoy it, let's be grateful for the fact. You know, raise a glass of wine in your garden and celebrate the fact that now has come the final time, either because of the affluence, either because of the historical period we're in, or because the tyrants have changed their tactics, whatever. All of that is pertinent. But the same fact remains that some other historical action is taking place, in which the world now, through the internet and through whatever, is getting this kind of information. Celebrate that, be very grateful for that. And at the same time, always, always, always congratulate yourself for have coming as far as you do. It'll negate the pessimism that you may have, you know, and it will really give you enthusiasm to carry on in the future.